Dr. Sharda Jain. I am the founder and the chairman of Global Stem Cell Therapy, the first dedicated stem cell therapy center in Northern India. I'm also the director of Life Care IVF. Today I'm going to speak about this role of stem cell therapy in male infertility. In male infertility, there are two conditions. One is erectile dysfunction and second is esospermia. In erectile dysfunction, it's mainly a psychological problem, but sometimes the problem is so grave that the psychiatrist and all cannot help this particular patient. And these people go from pillar to post. We find that in erectile dysfunction, stem cell therapy has a great role. The cases which we have done, they have, these patients have been relieved of their symptoms, their stress goes away, they've been able to perform the sexual act, and they feel absolutely great and blessed about it with the stem cell therapy. Now, same is found in cases of azospermia. Sometimes you find that the testicular size is normal, the FSH is normal, and still, it is not an obstruct, non obstructive uh, azospermia is not there. Now, these are the cases which we can help out. Now, these are the cases we give uh, stem cell therapy to them. They can, they give, uh, we give them partly intravenously and partly into the testes, and we find that these patients' uh, sperm production is amazingly seen, and these people can father their own child. This way, we can say that there is a major great breakthrough that the men who had lost all hopes of having a normal relationship in, the, in uh, erectile dysfunction and in azospermia to father their own child. At least both the things, realities are there. Again, the numbers are very few. Once the numbers get built up, then we can definitely show in, in form of studies. But we can say that it works wonders.